you guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. We're gonna be pulling the transmission out of Bryce's 370Z today. Here's some weird tinging noises going on. We're just gonna, we're just gonna take it apart and see what the problem is. The only way we're gonna know how to do that is because of YouTube. <laughs> we're at his main shop right now. We're getting tools. We're gonna be heading down to the corner lot and I'll catch you guys there. And now we're going to be dropping Bryce's exhaust to get to the tranny. Money, 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 money. <laughs> Bryce is messing around with his car a little bit. He said, I don't really need my help, which is okay, I guess. I'm going to balance my tires. Something to do, you know. As you can tell, the tread is astonishingly good on here um, immaculate. extremely immaculate but just for the purpose of this video i'm just going to rebalance them and show you guys how to do it so basically we take our crusty tire we throw it up on here and we grab this guy slap it up on here now once you get this on tighten it as tight as you can go snug her up so now you take all these little weights off on the inside here. Close this bad boy up, and that's all we got. Yeah! So now if you open this up, you spin the tire. There. So the green, that spot. So we'll take our little, uh, one of these clean rags, and now each one of these weights are a quarter of an ounce. Two quarters. Hey, Sponge, can I borrow another quarter? We're still green up there. So according to where the laser was, if I took this weight off, that's where it'd be. So now for the left side, the laser kind of does the work for you. Crusty paper towel, and we only need one quarter. That looks good to me. So now we'll do one more test to make sure that we're running zeros. And that's what you want right there. So now drop Bryce's drive shaft. And that's that. Bryce's exhaust is off. Cats are still on, obviously. But we kind of want to hear what it sounds like. I'm a bad influence on him, and I told him that I should that he should start it up. Stupid ass Seeing three balance in this video. I know it didn't look like a long time, but that took 10 minutes. These are the weights that the previous people used. They thought it was a good idea not to use aluminum weights. You know what I do with those? back on the car. Nice. So now I only got one more tire to do in the back. And then I got all my tires balanced. Took this tire off. I got an open dip so you can see which tire spins the most. I'll be changing these tires for some other used tires, some decent tread on them. Just to last me till I can buy brand new ones. So as we wait for the compressor, Bryce got all the harness and sensors and... He was just watching a couple YouTube videos and figured out that this is not a stock clutch. First transmission removal is not going the best. I have no idea what we're truly doing. <laughs> yeah, we're having lots of fun. Now I was just taught how to run this tire machine. I've done it a couple times before, but I never actually did it all by myself. I ain't no mechanic. I just do concrete, bro. Here's my attempt on debeating a tire. So 
Bryce has the gloves on. He just wants to do all the work for some reason. But I'll balance it. Look at them nice tires. Beautiful. So I now learned that trying to uh, get stock weights of a BMW is not fun. I had the scraper trying to get it off. I pushed down and broke through and I definitely messed my thumb up pretty bad, but uh, we'll be all right. Still in process of changing the tires. So now that tire is done, I'm going to be balancing it and then come back and then flop the rim on a different tire. That's what you want right there, all zeros. So now we just got one more tire to get this one on the car and go grab the other one. my stock wheel as you can see I can clearly fit my finger in between them. it's a 45 and we moved up to a f I don't know if much people can see the difference because I can't even fit my knuckles in between I mean I can but they'll probably get stuck what an upgrade so now it's on the tire number two for the rear just swapping the rears front's got good tread I don't know why the rears would have bad tread, I have no idea. Well, Bryce is here taking all that stuff off. People like just randomly walk through the parking lot like they own it or something. Oh, it's a good track record for Bryce trying to figure out what's going on with his tranny and if he ever needs to take it out he knows exactly what to unbolt and what sensors to unplug and how. Good eight hours worth of learning experience. <laughs> Just time to throw this back together. It was an L that we uh, all should hold but uh, now you know how to take your tranny out which is okay. So now we just put the drive shaft in. Sorry, why are you flipping me off Bryce? <laughs> That's currently what it's like with the 50. So I don't want to do spacers really. I want to have, I would just have as much tire on the ground in the back as possible. But this is E46 Austin. You have yourself a wonderful, fantastic day.